I guess this is a better time than never to do a merch drop. So guys, we got an issue. We are out of room. These ladies have been like, this has turned into a sweatshop at this point. So y'all are gonna have to help us out and help us get rid of some of these boxes. But check out what you're getting though. Oh, we got two Americas today? Two. How nice are these shirts? Y'all got the comfort lady shirts on or what? Um, I have soft style, she has heavyweight. Which one do you like better, Jaden? Soft style, for sure. So guys, get your wives a soft style shirt and they'll start folding shirts. That's how you get the laundry done. Oh, yeah. You just get them a Gentry and Sons shirt and then bam. <laughs> so there you go. You want to answer all your problems about getting your laundry done? Get them a Gentry and Sons shirt at gentryandsonstrucking.com <laughs> and get your own shirt it's and your wife starts doing laundry. I'm in trouble anyways. So um, guys, we are getting ready to move this big monster boat. This humongous monster boat and it's it's a task like it literally is going to be a nightmare so all this top has to come off me and travis has pretty much perfected taking these things apart putting them back together and moving them across the yeah, country the bridge, yeah. You perfected it after that. <laughs> yeah we didn't accidentally <laughs> hit a bridge one time but it wasn't totally our fault <laughs> but still we definitely decided yeah. after that point in time the top comes off no matter what we ain't even gonna leave it there to chance getting a pilot car costs so much money like it really does everybody's like four or five bucks a mile at this point in time so we're going to start the way to offset our cost with a company right now with high fuel prices we're going back to moving big yachts and you know we needed to have my wife 3500 was that's one of our um hot shot trucks we had an owner or a driver ready to move up to an owner operator so the wife told me if I sell my new truck and get enough money out of it to buy me another truck, I could build an escort truck or a pilot car, pilot truck. And did I not pull off the perfect? You did. I pulled it off, guys. You just wait till you see this truck. And it's paid for. I got enough out of my dually to pay for this truck. And Highly impressed. I'll give you that. <laughs> I pulled off the ultimate ultimate deal i can't believe it happened you guys have to see this truck and we're gonna show you we're getting ready to get into the video me and travis went on a recovery mission fishing and yeah we didn't yeah we're just out of shape <laughs> we're not good scuba divers so guys we're gonna let you get to the video oh, man braxy is taking it easy today we're on a recovery mission but we're taking it easy and we're getting ready to uh, hook up the boat and we're going fishing and Travis lost his rod and reel and his thousand dollar pair of glasses yesterday, so we gotta go get that as well. <laughs> so we're gonna take some snorkeling gear and go get that. And we're gonna try out the new truck with the boat. And uh, I guess, well, it's not a new truck, it's new to us. It's a 13 model Ram. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a camera. I don't know. What kind of truck do you think I'd drive around? You put motors on them. Brax is looking at women. Yeah. They're ready. He yeah. had... And then this other boat rolls up and he's sitting there looking at binoculars and he's like 20 foot away. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so Brax had Jade rubbing, what's she rubbing all over you? S sunscreen. Oh, three different times yesterday. I got burnt. He didn't even get burnt. Yeah, she kept him lubed up, didn't she? He's a little player. Mm -hmm. Trying to take Travis's woman. Dad, All right, anyways. <laughs> so, guys, we are actually on... We're going to go on a recovery mission yep. slash fishing trip today. Had a bad day. Good day, but bad day fishing. Yeah. Uh, Travis uh, and Braxton Ow. went yesterday, and what happened? What'd you do? I dropped the fish pole, and then I decided to go in after it with my sunglasses on, so I lost like $900. So we're going to check this thing out. So he orders a $900 face mask to go get his $900. Nah, wait, $900, like 100 So this thing, so it's got a breath still in it when we go under? Yeah. Who's going under? I'll go under, I guess. I mean, it's getting hot today. I don't care to get wet. 
It's a nine foot. I got it marked. Nine foot. Let's see. Hub. There's the hub, baby. Guys, I don't know if you've ever been on the Dragon, but this is the Dragon. This is where we go fishing at. They only sell 100% gas. Yep. For the motorcycles. This is where I about died at. Yeah, at the other end. Yeah, other end, but still. This is the best time. If you ride motorcycles, this is the best ride ever. But it is also... Uh, it's like, what, 300 something curves? Yeah, 311 curves. 30 miles or something like that. Yeah. And we got the boat. And we got the boat and the new rig. No, I couldn't let Travis outdo me on trucks. So Travis got a new truck, and I got an old truck, but it's still pretty nice though, ain't it? So my wife and I made the decision to sell our white Ram 3500 because it was, this is way too expensive of a truck for us to keep right now. When I could buy an older truck and pay cash for it. So we got another truck. It's older, but I lucked up. I will just say this, I really, really lucked up on this deal. 64,000 miles on it. Yeah, like this thing is completely... We'll show it to you when we get up here, guys. This is the interior. It's got gauges all in it. I mean, it is just... The guy took really good care of it. He built a nice truck. It sounds so good. <laughs> it's got a muffler on it, too. I, I like that it's not too, too loud. MBRP. It looks like a six. Six inch muffler, five inch tip. Yep. Five inch yep. <sighs> so was it a 500 dollar pole and a well, yeah, no, Jay goes, uh, I'll buy you one. I said, babe, it's going to take two of your checks to buy all that. So I just lost. <laughs> yeah, it was a little expensive <laughs> stuff. So, so this is what's crazy about this, guys, is it's kind of almost the anniversary when I had my bad, bad wreck up here. So Travis walked into the hospital and he said, hey, we're going to get a brand new boat. Like, we're, I'm not messing with it. You're not riding motorcycles no more. We're getting a boat. We got one, what, next weekend? Yeah, like the second I walked out of the hospital, we went straight to Alabama and picked it up. This is uh, this right here is Chihuahua Dam. This is Fort Lauk, man. Chihuahua Dam. We're going to Chihuahua Lake. And it's got Chihuahua behind the boat. Oh, look at that big race boat. And then it's called. Bikes coming off the dragon. Bet that place is packed this weekend. Oh, yeah. First weekend of the season. Is it the first weekend? This no, is it's like the first weekend. But there was a bunch of clubs up here yesterday. A lot. Yeah. Of, there's so many Mustangs. Oh, Lord. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Like everybody gets a Mustang. Everybody gets a Mustang, comes to the dragon. Mustang, gets a, gets a <laughs> Miata, or a 15 Camaro, or a Dodge Charger. Those four cars are up here like they're going out of stock. We came by the house the other day, about 20 Miatas. Yep. And they're all 65 plus. Yep. They're having time of their life. I tell you what, they like to take care of There's the boat ramp that we put in. Yeah. You thought I said, I'm not racing my fish. Yeah, so the last, the red truck, the race truck I had, the 2500 six speed truck, we took it mudding up here trying to find Travis and Braxton and whatnot. Braxton fishes more than I do now. I mean, he literally, if Travis wants to go, Braxton's in the boat. Fixed the bed the rain for the bar, Tennessee. Yep. Gosh, it's so beautiful up through here. I wish we could buy that. I mean, Is that that property you were talking about? That's one that's the only place you can build on Chihuahua Lake a house, man. Do some Airbnbs or something, that'd be awesome. And then you can still put your house behind it. Yep. Please don't have the water room. There's the dam. Please don't have the water room. I beg, they don't have that water room. They do, it's going, everything's gone. It don't look like it's on, it's pretty still. Well, what's he doing up here? He's an idiot. Are they skiing? Really, he 
got somebody behind that boat. Dude, I watch them. Oh, they do. They got somebody behind that boat, Joe. Really? And it's weighted down. That's not good. And the last time we were up here, I seen somebody hit. There was a pontoon boat up here, and they tore their motor off. I found two or three lower units up here. The guys, from here up to the dam, it is like super, super, super shallow, and there's rocks right up under the water. Side, there's a, about an eight foot river channel. Yeah. So there's yeah, there's an eight foot river channel, and we know exactly what that channel is. We keep it marked on our Garmin, and we we know how to get all the way up to the dam. That's where we fish at most of the time. No water zone, don't look like. Unsafe? It's plastic. I believe. Why is the boat for it? Oh. My boat's crashed out. Check out my parallel parking. Let's get a look at Travis's parking job. Did you have to bag it in? I had to pair it out. I had to fit in between that car and that truck. Oh, that's sick. That's pretty good. <laughs> Six. I know you will. <laughs> You'll do a lot of things for twenty dollars. No, no, I'm not. I mean, you have raised your standards. He got me wet. He's away. <laughs> Is it cold? Good. Damn, I ain't got no breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, I, I seen, I mean, you can see the bottom good. Need my help? Oh, yeah, you're going to have to help. We're going to take turns. But my, I got to figure out how to get this thing to All right, let me, get, let me get my suit on. Got to figure out how to get it to sell off. It started coming in through my mouth. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, you did dive in. Okay. I can't return 25 foot. 
<sighs> Take turns doing that, but three times we don't find it, I give up. We're already Ooh. invested now, buddy. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. I should have picked up some goggles. That's where daddy flooded the boat a while ago. Ah, uh, well. Yeah. You're like, stop here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you think a water hose would work? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you imagine me up here unreal on a water hose, like blowing into it. <laughs> we might need something better than that. <laughs> you need something definitely pushing air into it besides your lungs. <laughs> <sighs> well, we can put it on the motor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bad idea, too. We need an air compressor. That's all we need. You can breathe that air in. I mean, I guess you can. Yeah, James, they do. James Bond suck the you know, yeah. air out of a tire. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this is fun. Is it? Jump in there. Are you going to put this on? How are you going to snorkel for us? <laughs> I'm here practicing. <laughs> Guys, our recoveries are a little bit different than all the other ones on YouTube. <laughs> this is kind of like clown show. <laughs> What'd you find? A bunch of sticks. Well, that's the only way you can get down there, dude, and see it. Yeah. It's not, oh, there's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be right here. Look, I, used to look jump I jumped right here. You need to jump like right here. Well, bring me the thing. Right, there's bubbles coming up right there from something. There's still, I'm going to talk about the top of sticks. You need to jump. Ow. Oh, yeah. Jump right into them no, sticks. No, no. You need to jump right here. Right down in between. Action. All right, guys. We found the rock. <laughs> you bet you didn't see no sunglasses. <laughs> no, I didn't see the sunglasses. Dude, it's up under a tree. I'm going to dive right beside you here. Like, remember, like, huh, so it's way down there. I mean, there ain't no, there's no limb sticking up, so you're good to dive straight down. <laughs> I'm already drying. Yeah. Whoa, I about fell out. Good jumping way. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I see the tree. Too far left. It's, it's, it's dragged me down quite a bit. Oh, so too far left. So we need to dive to the left of the queue? No, to the right. Like way to the right. Because it pulled me down two or three foot. Here. <laughs> Never did see the tree, did didn't you? Didn't see it. Okay. I didn't see the tree. Let me see if I can find it with this. I feel like I was further up. I feel like you were, no, you, I feel like you were further this way. I think right, right here's where the tree is, right in front of me. Okay. Dang, did we drift that much? Yeah. Well, I mean, you come up a long ways. There looks, I see something looks like maybe like a rod. I'm telling you, it's sticking right up between the tree. Butt down? Yep. The bud's sticking up. So the rod went in um, eye first. <sighs> Oh, so it went up, up like first? Right in, it's like a tree trunk, so it looks like. Oh, no, we're going to kill ourselves. We're going to be in shape. We're going to be yeah. sore. Yeah, we're getting some good exercise <laughs> today, boy. <laughs> this is about 400 dives, guys. <laughs> My hands are shriveled. <sighs> Man, this beat's working on them dang motors all day in the sweatshop. I ain't, uh... I guess I can get used to this. this is, there's a lot of risk doing this stuff. Yeah. All right, back at the ramp. We're going to go down to the bottom side, guys, where it's really, really pretty and really good fishing. And good swimming. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know about swimming. Braxton wants to swim down there, but if the if the turbines are off, we'll take you down to the bottom and let you swim. Brack, Travis is Brack. Back in the truck in so we can go down there. Can I the up? Fill some box. That's turboed. Whatever that is, turboed. It might not be a bike. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was. Did you hear that blow off valve? Yeah. Here. Oh, he's doing a burnout, Dad.
All right, we're on the famous bottom side of the Chihuahua Dam. We're in six foot of water. Six foot of water. And so all the way up through here, guys, nothing but rocks under the water. There's a channel, like a little creek channel that you can follow. You have to be precise. You have to keep it up on plane. Like it's a, a science. Like really, it's a science of that baby right there. You got us a trail mark? No, I don't. <laughs> so we just had all these things replaced. So you can so, kind of see it, but you got to know it too. When we had them replaced, they erased all the memory in them. <laughs> God, I hate I this part. This. I know we've done this a million times. Here we go, guys. So we're gonna fish around them turpins, guys. This is where we're gonna catch some big ones. Well, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You can go right here, that guy goes and he, he takes his boat and he walks all the way up and he throws. And every every time he catches it, then he comes down here and he puts his rod up underneath the, the thing here and then fights it on, on down. Really? It was amazing to watch him do it. I mean, I was like, wow, this guy's from City Co. Yeah. <laughs> This is I where, mean, so risky, guys on these tournaments here, this is where everybody comes first. What's in that big old wall? Uh, right, we're coming into it. Oh, 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 oh. All right, you're good. There's the big rock, guys, that takes out motors. So that's how, like, see? <laughs> and it goes all the way across. Oh, that'd be cool. So we're at the Chill Howie Dam fishing. Now, well, we didn't have no luck today. Now I'm even more money invested in this. <laughs> so we lost the pole, it? lost the pole of glasses, and then we didn't catch no fish. That's it. Don't step in that tire right there. Ugh. Looks like it. They riding their bikes. Man, I used to have a blast up here. Guys, I can't go through another accident like I had before. Whew. This is a tight little place to back into. B8 boat gets you every time that fires up.
right, guys. So I guess now is the better time than ever to show you what this truck came with. So just look at that. <laughs> this thing is absolutely insane. You found one off? It don't look good, though. But I think that bottom clamp's loose. So we definitely got a boot. Definitely got a boot off or something because can't build no boost and it's it's acting you know, a little weird. Soap and water on that motor. It's so beautiful. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. So this whole entire build has like a hundred miles on it. Well, I put I probably put a hundred miles, so probably two or three hundred miles, I guess. The guy that owned it originally, I I got in touch with him. He got me some extra parts and files and stuff for it, and uh, he told me all of this. Like literally, he just done this whole setup. So it's second gen swapped. I th look at what side do you think the exhaust is? It's a five. Yeah, it looks like a. It's a six-inch tip. Six well, or seven. So huge exhaust. <laughs> it's got slotted and drilled it's rotors. Five and a half. It's not six. Um, BMF wheels, Fox shocks, gas shocks, airbags, um, rear end cover. It's got it's got a billet valve body in the transmission, so it's got transmission work. Fox shocks up here, it's got good A-arms. I mean, this thing drives like a champ, so. Um, the one, right? Oh yeah. So it's got ACV bumper, what is it, AEV? AEV bumpers, front and rear. Oh, I love those lights, them things are so bright. Warren widths, it's got Warren lockouts. So, I mean, this truck has been taken very, very good care of, and it was built nice. I mean, they did a really, really good job building it. So I am tickled to death to be able to buy something like this. Like, I loved my 3,500 flatbed, but this thing, for the money that I've got in this truck, I would have sold that flatbed 10 times over. Just little stuff. Like this. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plastic of mine. Oh, everything, so the way he talked, everything that could go wrong with a truck that, you know, is a known issue for these Rams, he fixed it and upgraded it. I mean, come on. That's a little much. It's a chrome. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a darn show truck, don't it? So, we're tickled to death with it, and I'll show you guys how it runs. So we're going to do some uh, pulls with it after a while when we get the, the boat off of it. Did you see the fresh suspension in it? Yes, this thing's insane. Like, I don't know anything else to do to it. The tires, they're not loud. They The tires are really nice on it. I did might have smoked a little bit of these off on the back, which I will never do again because I love this truck. I will say I've liked my trucks before, but as far as, like, really being in love with one, I am in love. I enjoy driving. Every time I get in it, I smile. And just have the nicest, best smile on my face. Ram boxes. They lock with the truck. All that works. The lights usually come on. So, guys, super tickled with it. I hope you guys like it because it is a super nice truck. And this is what hard work gets you. Now, this one was a lot of trading around. So, um, between my black Ram 3500 and the white flatbed, it literally paid cash for this truck. For what I sold my Ram for, the flatbed, um, I pretty much, I mean, by the time it was all said and done, I didn't have to put no money into this truck. So that's what it's all about. I got to help somebody out. At the same time, I got to get a truck that I actually like. I mean, the six-speed truck, it was pretty nice, but this right here just, it takes the cake. It really does. I think this is Braxton's favorite truck too, huh? You like it? What do you think about trading it for the, the Ram 3500? Is it bad? Do we do better on this one or do you like the flatbed better? Okay. Of course. <laughs> so, hope you guys like it. But that's going to end our fishing trip. So, we're going to get back to the house.